you're eventually getting there. So to go back to the flyers, the flyers are very large. You might see some of the peripheral vision, you begin to understand that hmm, this is the only possible explanation for people being so insane, so greedy, so fearful. They were raised in good environments, perhaps. Maybe they didn't have bad experiences. But how do you explain that the humans are so confused? Well, I'll accept the premise that maybe there's some inorganic flyer attached to their brain, giving them a, a foreign installation. There's no explanation for them not being human. Humans can see and hear. What happened, and how would this go? Okay, I'll accept the sorcerer's explanation, as difficult as it is. And then one day you'll be out, again, in a wild power spot, away from all the distractions of the city. You'll be out there, and you'll suddenly see a dark shadow move over the mesa and form along the hillside, coming down like a shadow of a giant UFO, something that you know in your heart is a flyer. And then you ask yourself, I'm going to verify this by walking into it. So you begin your trek, and you're going down this canyon, and you're approaching this dark, fluctuating shape. And you're going to walk through it. You're going to walk through it because you, as an intended sorcerer, have to have a practical experience about the things that hitherto you've only read or heard tales of power about. You're going to go into a flyer. So you begin to walk into its energy field. Dividing line between light and the shadow of darkness. And you're going into it and you're paying careful attention to what's occurring to your luminosity, to your energy field, when you get inside the flyer. And once you get inside the flyer, you realize that everything they said about them being a foreign installation and able to take over the human is manifested in their hungry darkness.